welcome to another episode of Gur Codes. This time, in this episode, we will start looking at the App Center, uh, Visual Studio App Center, actually, which is a new product by Microsoft. It has been launched officially uh, out of preview since November 2017. And as you can see, um, it offers a lot. You can build your iOS apps, Android apps, Windows apps, basically all kinds of apps. Um, with with not just Xamarin, but also native, so React Native, but also Swift, Objective-C, Java. You can do it all here. As you might know, Microsoft has acquired a lot of companies like Hockey App, Xamarin itself, um, and with Xamarin, of course, Xamarin Test Cloud and Xamarin Insights. Um, and of course, they already had VSTS. So with all these products, they now have a great set of tools, but they were all separate tools. So with Visual Studio App Center, what they have been trying to do is create one dashboard, one application where you can start doing everything for your mobile apps. And that's what I'll be showing you today. Well, uh, only the build part that is for now uh, to not have the episodes grow too big. So I will just be showing you the building and a bit of distributing. Um, and to make things a bit more interesting, I will do so. I will set up a complete CI CD pipeline um, in under seven minutes. So, okay, allow me to click the get started here uh, to get a little head start. Then I'll just press the start button on the timer and we'll get cracking. So I will log in with my Microsoft account. I'm logged in already, Joe, that's me. And whenever I do, I will land here on the App Center dashboard. Um, here you can see an overview of all your apps. Let's just create a new one. Mine will be called BTX. It's a little pet project of mine. Um, it will be an iOS app built with Xamarin. And when we do this, we will be sent to the dashboard of this specific app. So what we're going to do is go to build right here and you can select a service. Um, so you can choose from VSTS, GitHub, Bitbucket. Um, so you can link all these repositories to your App Center account and get the code from there. I will get it from my GitHub. Um, and it's a private repo in this case, so that's supported as well. And here you will see all the branches that are associated with this app. In my case, it's just one. And whenever you select a branch, you can set up a build configuration and you can select a project here. Um, he automatically selects the solution for you and detects all the um, projects that are in here. And then you can do some minor configuration, uh, set it to release, set the mono version if you want. Um, we want to run it on a device on every push. And if we want to run it on a device for iOS, we need the provisioning profile, which I have already set up here, and the certificate. Um, just need to set the password. There we go. And then whenever we do this, uh, we want to distribute a build to just me. And let's just save and build this right away. So what's going to happen now? It's going to send a request to a Mac uh, build agent which is actually a VSTS Mac build agent um, because App Center just uses the VSTS APIs in the background. So there's nothing new going on here. It's just uh, some new design, new gadgets, new, um, new magic going on because this takes a lot of work out of your hands for configuring a build configuration, that kind of stuff. So if we click on this running build right here, you will see these rolling logs going by which will look pretty familiar if you've worked with VSTS before because, well, they're really the same. So things will be scrolling here. And while they do, and while the timer is still running, uh, let's just go back up for a little bit and let's see what kind of other options we have here. Um, so you can play with build scripts as well, which is pretty new uh, right now, uh, which allows you to create pretty flexible things. Uh, as long as you're not afraid to write some PowerShell scripts or bash scripts, um, you can pretty much do everything here with these uh, scripts. 
you can do uh, things I think post build or uh, uh, after the build is done and as long as you include the scripts in your source uh, you can select them here and they will be ran uh, whenever the time is right and you can do all kinds of things um, for instance I've used it to um, run unit tests because that's not supported out of the box right now and um, provide the results uh, in a slack channel uh, that we were in so that's one example of what you can do um, okay you can also choose to create a simulator build or just have the build trigger manually um, and you can choose to automatically increment the build number uh, which will automatically uh, do the magic for you uh, in the iOS project it will automatically update the build number in your info plist and for Android of course in the Android manifest.xml you could also choose to do something here with the environment variables so you can set a name and a value and you can swap these values out uh, in your source code um, just before building so you can have some I don't know replace your API key or something with the var uh, variables that you set here this is not something we will be looking at today um, you can also test it on a real device uh, that's where Xamarin Test Cloud comes in Xamarin Test Cloud is fully incorporated in this uh, in this portal um, and test on a real device just boots up your application right after building on a actual physical device and will let you know if that works so you don't have to write any actual tests yourself you will just have to say okay I want to test it and it will just do a sanity check if your app is uh, able to launch on a actual physical device so here you can distribute builds this is something we are doing right now and per branch you can uh, hook this up to a separate group or users and with that you can um, create different builds for different kind of groups um, so we should be seeing uh, a build coming up for just me right now and then here's the, there's the advanced section um, which allows you to do exactly one thing right now and that is generate a build status badge uh, these are the little badges that you see on github repository reporting the build status so let's have a look at our build how it's doing it's still running so hopefully it will be done in time because else I will look a bit funny um, what it's doing right now is just uh, building all of this on the Mac build agent uh, gathering the uh, IPA file uh, which is the runnable executable for uh, iOS devices and that will be sent back to the App Center um, and from there App Center will take it over and basically go here to the distribute um, part of the application and it will distribute uh, it to this group collaborators which is just me and also here you can look into releases or devices so a release should be coming up any minute here now um, and also it helps you collect some data on the devices especially for iOS that's uh, iOS that's uh, very helpful because um, here you have to collect all the unique device IDs um, for the devices that you want to test on okay so the time is up I was hoping to have the build on my phone actually right now it is built um, so there should be a distribution right now so let's just quickly go into my email app and see if some mail is coming in here we go and here is release number one for my BTX app it doesn't quite get the icon yet usually it takes a build or a one or two to get the icon right and when I press install I will be brought to the install part of the App Center and I can look at the details of this specific build it does have the icon here and it also shows me the uh, last commit um, comment uh, as the release notes so I can just press install here now and it will say okay do you want to install it yes or no let's do that 
and there's some help pages here for whenever uh, things go wrong and there's an error coming up um, and you can see or your user can see what the, what they can do about it but let's go back to my launcher here and you can see uh, in the lower right that my app is loading there we go installing we'll be able to launch it I didn't implement a splash screen yet and here we go here's our application so okay maybe it took a little bit more than seven minutes but um, you can see in a matter of minutes I can have a test version out to my users um, and there wasn't anything very hard that I had to do to achieve this um, so that's basically what I have for you today on the App Center um, I hope it gives you a general idea of when you can uh, how you can use it and well there's a lot of stuff going on in here I will do more videos on uh, several parts of the Visual Studio App Center but this is the building part and a very briefly touching the surface on the distribute part so I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch the rest of my videos Thank you.